I actually had the moon on our set replaced with the Death Star. Check it out. I hope that was good. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. We put this up two hours ago and tried it for the first time at rehearsal. And I was told that one of our staff members had an issue with it. And of course, it's our show's resident Star Wars expert, Jordan Schlansky. Let's bring him out here and find out what the problem is. Thank you. Now, Jordan. Yeah. Soaking it in. He's just soaking it in. What a, <laughs> what a stylish mortician. Jordan. Uh, Jordan, what do you think of our uh, Death Star? I, I thought it was pretty accurate, but you have a problem with it. Is that right? Well, look, I appreciate the effort, but in terms of accuracy, there are some significant issues. Okay, what do you mean? What is wrong with it? Well, the first glaring error is the size of this Death Star. It's depicted here as being far too large, astronomically speaking. You see, Earth's moon is just under 3,475 kilometers in diameter. It's, in fact, 3,474.574 kilometers, to be precise. <laughs> However, the original Death Star was only 216 kilometers in diameter. That means for it to appear as large as it does in the night sky, it needs to be much, much closer to the Earth. <laughs> However, the Empire would never maneuver the Death Star so close to a potential target, as it would essentially be placing the crown jewel of its own fleet within the blast radius of an exploding planet <laughs> if the Death Star fires its primary weapon, the super laser. This incredibly tight orbit effectively removes the option to fire the aforementioned super laser. this straight. This audience was incredibly happy to see him show up, but even happier when he was, <laughs> when he was killed. When he was vaporized. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't understand. Yay, he's here. Oh, bigger yay, he's dead. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.